Welcome everyone. As you work toward your Google Level 1 certification, one of the products you will want to be familiar with is Google Contacts. As I've stressed with all the products in this series, it is important to understand the product, but it is much more important to think about how this is going to transform your classroom and how you can engage and empower students. That said, Contacts and Gmail are a little bit different in that they are products you may not use to interact with students as much, but they will hopefully allow you to maximize your time in other products so that you can use those to transform your classroom. So hopefully by making an efficient use of Contacts and Gmail, it will make your life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see that I'm already in Contacts and I can go to contacts.google.com or I can also select the nine square grid and then select contacts. Either one of those ways is going to get me into Google Contacts. And the main thing we want to understand here is how to create a label. This used to be called a group, but it is now called a label. So if I want to create a new label, I'm going to navigate to label and then I'm going to select create label. And from there, I'm going to call this example for video two. I already did an example for video one and didn't like to take. Excuse me. So I'm going to click save and there's example for video two right there. I can uh, choose to edit that. I can also choose to delete that right here if I would like. Now, you, let's say that I want to add contacts into this label. It's pretty easy to do. I can either click on the label and if it's a brand new contact, I can select create contact and that contact is going to be created automatically, where you can see right here, in the example for video two. However, let's say it's an existing contact, someone already in the organization. I can go to my contacts and I can find contacts within the organization. Uh, so let's see here, the Google Coach program, let's just say that I want to add that. I can select the three dots and I can select to add them to example for video two. And then I can just click out in space somewhere and it'll take a second down here, say it's working. And then that person will be added to that list. Uh, so let me just scroll down through here and, and find someone else. And um, let's say that I want to add Mr. Gibney. I can select the three dots and then I can select the option to add example for video two. And again, click out in space and that will work. And now once I've done that, I can see that here is the example for video two, and I can see there are the two individuals who are in that label. So that allows me to quickly and easily add labels. As you can see, I can also toggle between label labels. So if I want to use these labels, what I can do is I can navigate over to Gmail. And let's say that I want to uh, create a message and I want it to go to the entire admin team. And you can see that I had a label over here called admin team. I can simply type, admin and now the entire admin team comes up so I don't have to type in the names of everyone in this message. It automatically uh, recognizes who's on the admin team and will send the message to them. So just be aware that this can be a really efficient use of your time to create contacts for grade level, for departments, for people that you contact frequently, even maybe parent groups, maybe if you send out a parent email on like a Friday or something, uh, rather than typing it in all the time, create it in Gmail and it's much more efficient and easier to use. Or in contacts rather, create it in contacts and then use it in Gmail and it makes your life much more efficient.